Hey everyone, my name's Spencer from Turntables and Trails in Seattle, Washington. And I'm going to show you how to set the bias adjustment on a Macintosh Mac 1500. Uh, this is a somewhat rare uh, hybrid receiver. It's uh, got transistors in the preamp um, and then it's a tube in the output as you can see here, and it also is a tube in the FM tuner. Um, so this is a interesting unit, and uh, I'm just gonna show you how to bias it. So to start off with, you wanna pull your 12AX7 tube. That guy's right here, typically. Uh, I've already pulled it. Uh, then you wanna power on the unit. You usually wanna wait about 10 minutes is what's recommended. After you've done that, uh, normally these are the bias pots and they're covered by this small little metal cover, which is gonna be screwed in here. Um, I've already removed it. Uh, so remove that guy. And then what you need is a multimeter. And you're gonna set your multimeter to volts. And you're gonna want it pretty low um, on those DC volts because we're actually measuring uh, ideally all of these are going to be at um, 0.7 so as you can see we'll start with uh, the first tube right here uh, this is TP3 it's labeled um, and it's going to be pot R8 so you want to stick your positive into the little terminal there and then just touch the ground screw and as you can see, that's at 0 .704, so um, that's pretty good. Uh, I actually already kind of biased this earlier, so. Uh, so then we go to the next one, so TP4. And that one actually is a little higher. So what we do is we're going to chop stick here. As we put a flathead screwdriver on the pot. And as you can see, it really doesn't take anything to adjust this. So clockwise is going to raise it a little. Counterclockwise is going to lower it. It's so probably right about there. It's pretty good. So we go to the next one. TP5 all the way over here. As you can see, this one also is just a little high. Oh, make sure you're on the right one. This is R10, actually. I'm doing R11. Okay, so let's leave it right there. And then let's go to TP6. And that one's actually a little low since I just tweaked it accidentally. It's R11, so. Point six nine nine. that's pretty good. So, then let's go back and check them all. So, TP6, TP5, TP4, and TP3. TP3 is still maybe a little higher than I'd want, so we can get a chopstick. Then let's go back and check TP4. Yeah, we're still good there. So typically you want to check these all at once. It wouldn't make sense to check just one because um, they're all interconnected, so especially in the pairs. Uh, what's really nice about the Mac 1500 is that you have four separate bias controls. Um, often you're going to have 
uh, just two bias settings or maybe even one and so you need to get matched sets of tubes. Uh, obviously it's nice to have matched sets of tubes but in the case of the Mac 1500 you don't actually need to have a matched set of tubes because you can individually set the biases. So this guy is uh, all good to go. Um, so once you're finished with this you can button it back up, throw this little guy back on there and then uh, put back in the 12AX7 tube uh, after you've powered down and then go listen to it, make sure everything sounds good. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Spencer from Turntables and Trails in Seattle, Washington. We're a hi-fi and hiking store. Do uh, audio equipment, outdoor gear, and uh, we'd love to see you in sometime.